We're continuing with the theme of knowledge today. When you're in a difficult situation, where do you go to learn how to find your way out of it? Well, a local author started praying about that very situation, and soon God had given her 100 words. Those 100 words became the basis of her book, 100. 100 words in 100 days to a changed life and restored purpose. Dancy introduces us to author Dr. Leah McRae. Well, I am honored to have Dr. Leah McRae joining us. And Dr. McRae wrote a book that um, I've been looking through and is so very powerful. It's called The 100 Words in 100 Days to a Changed Life and Restored Purpose. I want to welcome you to the show. Oh, thank you so much. I'm so honored and just blessed to be here. Thank yeah, you. You're welcome. Thank you. 100 words. You know, um, when you think about life and our vocabulary, mm -hmm. I don't know how you came up with the 100 words yeah. to use. So take us through the process of writing. Absolutely. Actually, I didn't come up with the 100. Uh, God gave me all 100 words to write on. Is that right? Yeah, he just dropped those words into my spirit. And, um, and I began uh, to seek those words uh, in the Bible, in His Word, and uh, um, and that led me uh, to I'm um, writing each day. I'm um, regarding that word, on um, what a uh, God says about that word, yeah. and how we are to apply it in our lives. Um, so that was the easy part because I didn't have to come up with that. Okay, <laughs> well, very good. Well, let's talk about you personally. Yes. Um, you are from the Cleveland area. I am. I am. And you went to school at Ohio Northern. I did. I did. Um, I went to law school in Ohio Northern. Uh -huh. um, I graduated uh, from there from law school. I started a practice here in Lima, and um, um, then the Lord uh, just spoke to me one day about writing. Um, a little bit about my story, I, um, I had some tragedy in my life. I found myself a single mom of six children. Wow. Uh, my ex-husband, uh, he went to prison, okay. and um, I mean, it was actually, uh, I was the one that had to turn him in. Uh, okay. So I found myself, you know, single, um, with six kids, didn't have a job, lost everything I had. Um, but God had provided me with a scholarship for law school. It kind of just dropped out of the sky. That's amazing. And uh, um, so that's got how I got to Ada, ONU Law School. And, um, and this book is, um, I wrote it because I know that there are people, you know, that are out there um, that find themselves, um, they don't know what happened. I um, mean, you know, life just happens. That's and you, for sure. Um, you look up one day and everything is different. Mm -hmm. You know, things can change in a hurry. People are people, right? Absolutely, absolutely. But we have a God who knows you, you know, and knows what he has put in you and knows the purpose that he has for you in your life. And um, he will never leave you or desert you. And that has... Um, been the driving force in my life and it has gotten me through uh, um, some very bad days, you know, mm -hmm. but he has always been there and he is a restorer. I'm so blessed. Yes. Um, he gave me back everything that I've lost and even more. Oh, um, so that's uh, the story that I try and tell in 100. Well, I was um, looking through your book and I chose the 24th because we are taping this on November 24th. Okay. <laughs> and um, the word um, that you that you and God yes, chose yes. Are, is wilderness. Yeah. And um, wilderness is defined as any desolate tract, a wild mm -hmm. and uncultivated region, a bewildering yeah. mass. Yeah. And this struck me today because, um, you know, with the state of affairs around the world, mm -hmm. I think we all feel like we are going through a wilderness yes, right now. And absolutely. we don't know how to survive yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and then on a personal level, it does mm -hmm. come down to our family lives mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. um, and what's in our heart and our Amen. soul. Amen. You know, so yeah. what what in here mm -hmm. um, and, and what message did you get from God to help yeah, us through yes, those times? Yes, yes, yes. Well, I mean, that's really good, uh, the word uh, that you uh, chose for today because wilderness, like you said, um, you know, uh, you can really find yourself in, in a place of uncertainty. Mm. Um, you don't know what's coming. You don't know what's happening around you. You know, things uh, seem to be just going astray everywhere yeah. you look. But the thing about that is, you know, what God wants us to know, that he knows the plans that he has for us, mm -hmm. you know, and although we can't see everything, um, he is there and he knows our destiny. He knows the purpose that he has for us. And all we have to do is follow his leading because um, although there are trees, you know, that are hi hiding our view, you mm -hmm. can say, he sees the path uh, that we need to be walking on. And if we'll just follow him, you know, just take his direction, no matter what it looks like, because um, things can look bad. 
Yeah. You know, but no matter what it looks like, we have a God who is for us, he loves us, and he has a plan for our lives. And that was what he gave me as far as in wilderness. It doesn't matter what it looks like. I'm for you and I'm gonna get you through that track of desolate land to a fruitful place. Absolutely. You know, to a good place. Some pl so. some place that will prosper us. Amen. And, you know, Amen. Not to yes. hurt us. Yes. So um, well Leah, I can tell that you have um, personal testimony um, to to lend this book and um, I'm just thrilled to have met you. Thank you so much. Where can we find it? Um, well, it is available on Amazon.com. Okay. Um, it's also available at Gifts of Joy here oh, in Lima. Good. Okay. Yes, yes. And then I have my on my website. I'm um, is ltmacraybooks.com, and you can also get it there. Okay. Absolutely. Very good, Dr. Leah McRae. Thanks so Thank much for joining so us. Thank you so much for having me. Been All a right. pleasure. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. All right. Back to you, Jen. This is a copy of that book. I really like the fact that uh, she broke down the hundred words into each chapter. Mm. So if you're struggling, let's just say, um, let's say you're struggling, you feel like you're in chaos. Mm. Well, day 80 is about chaos mm. and it's speaking biblical truths into how to, to stand with God through that and see through your situation with him. Also good thing, I mean, positive situations. Maybe you're in a worshipful mood or maybe uh, you just uh, have a, a positive desire, you know, really very simple, short chapters that um, I think I think it's definitely worth reading. Yeah, you can use it as a daily devotional or mm -hmm. as you as you uh, yeah, like you said it's broken down into different topics. So whatever it is that you're struggling with or something that you need to be encouraged by, go to that table of contents, look that topic up and it's right there and something to, to get you knowledge, get you thinking about mm -hmm. uh, what the Bible has to say about those situations. Well,